You're angry. I'm angry. I'm sure everyone's angry. Casey Anthony got acquitted. Can you believe that? Apparently, psychological evidence doesn't hold up in court, but that's besides the point. Greetings, Zoya Virus. I am GT. Another installment of Let's Play Artanalco. Melody of Alemia has just arrived. Previously. What did we do last time? Well, whatever. I don't remember what we did. But today we're going to the silver plate. So, as I'm sure everybody has heard by now, Casey Anthony was earlier today acquitted for murder. And I'm sure it makes a lot of people angry because they know that, because I mean, everybody knows that uh, the Casey Anthony killed her daughter. But. Unlike most people, I've known since, well, last year. I've known for a very, very, very long time now that she's done it. It's been painfully obvious to me. And I'll, t and I'll tell you why in a minute. But first, I need to see where we can go. Can I go this way? No, I can't. Let's do this. Go. Hey, you know what? I might as well show this off. I don't know if I've shown off the new battle team yet, but again, I'll I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you why uh, I know that I've known that Casey Anthony killed her daughter. And when I say psychological evidence, what I mean is the way that Casey reacted when they were questioning her about her daughter. Now, if you remember, she was, uh, when, when she was questioned about her daughter, she was distraught over it and, and not, and, and wouldn't, like, answer, uh, police, and any police questions about it. Now, that, in it, now that right there, that is exactly the reason why Is just just that much alone that's that's exactly the reason why I, I knew that sh that she was the one that did it because if you think of it this way the thing of it if you were in Casey Anthony's shoes and you found out that your daughter had died certainly you would be upset about it I'm sure any parent would you'd be upset about it and even if you were to cry you would want to do everything you could to help the police find that murderer in which case, you would be upset, but you would answer the questions. You would probably try doing it, but again, you would answer the questions. However, in her case, she was distraught over it and would not answer any questions whatsoever. Now, why, you may ask? Because asking her about her daughter brought up a very painful memory. This painful memory, of course, being the fact that she killed her daughter, even though... Or rather, the fact that... She killed her daughter, but wasn't aware of it. Because wh exactly what happened, what I can tell you happened, is that she was intoxicated or high or drunk. One, one of those, one of those, at the time that she killed her daughter, and she did not realize what she had done until afterwards. Once she did, she realized that it finally hit her that she had killed her daughter, and that is exactly why she was distraught. Because whenever they asked her about it, it brought up that set, that specific memory. That is why she became distraught when they asked her about it, and that is exactly why she refused to answer questions. And that in itself is how I knew right then that she killed her daughter. But certainly I'm not the only one that realizes this. Can, I can't possibly be the only one that realized this because, I mean, I've never had any formal education in the field of uh, psychology. So I've only taken like a couple classes in sociology and that's just behavior, not thought process. I'll sing you my song. All right. So again, I can't possibly be the only person that knows that. However, this kind of psychological evidence isn't going to stand up in court to a jury. Whenever there's reasonable doubt, then that's gonna 
going to eliminate any of that psychological evidence that I had just talked about. If it wasn't for that, she would have, her ass would have been sent to jail. Now she is the white female OJ. That was a level 5 topic? Interesting. I'm a little bit concerned about my uh, my uh, PS2 right now because like the flip top cover, the part near the back, like it's like near the center of the system and near the back, that part like where that hinge is isn't down all the way. So like games still run, but it won't like stay down all the way. So that's kind of concerning. I mean, knock on wood, it hasn't broken yet. I just hope that it still works. I mean, obviously it works now, but um, I don't remember where I'm going, actually. I really don't remember where I'm going. All right, let me let me go ahead and check something. All right, so I don't I don't have any of those yet. All right, I'm just a little bit lost right now. Uh, just bear with me for a minute. I think this is the way I go. Maybe. No, wait, no, this leads to Inferia, doesn't it? No, it's a silver plate M sector. Alrighty, let's just keep on going over here. I hope this is the right way to go. Certainly if, um... If the guy I'm using was off, then I, I would have changed it. I, I've had to do that a couple times with guides that I have. Liner, let's do this. There is an item over here, which is... There we go, Lyra 2. Let me take a look at this really quick. Ah, I missed a card. It's down this way. I missed the Lyra 3 card. Lyra, Lyra, whatever. There it is. Okay, so I am going the right way. I'm pretty much just running from all the fights because uh, right now I'm at the point where I can kill every enemy with just one normal attack. So other than getting a few dive points, it's not really worth it. So like I said, I'm just running from the fights. Yeah, I am cutting out that little bit, but eh. What does this person have to say? You can end up as a college fainting gate. Climbing up is useless. It is so useless. You know, this is useless in the world of darkness. Reason why we're going through uh, this area here, we want to go through the silver plate to get the ion plate, then to a musical corridor. That's where we're um, aiming to go now. Um, okay, take near my stairs. I'm just reading on this here there is another 
card. Um, Lyra one. Go west, north, and west again. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just look at those um, those cards here that I got. Lyra two says climbing the high places, but. Uh, basically, give her a rare wrath, no wrath, no crystals. You're gonna get a better item. This one, ten battles, she comes back. That's all. That's all that that's telling you. It's its fancy way of telling you that. So we go west. Like in terms of the directions that I I think the guide uses, the direction that I'm facing right now, down into the left is west so up into the left is north okie dokie so this thing go west north west again this way run run as fast as you can you can't catch me i'm the artanella man how did i, I don't know how i missed that before maybe that wasn't there before Certainly, I would have seen it. Rare grass, no crystals. Yeah, give her rare things and she gives you better things. As I was saying, let's continue. Let's get a marvelous view of the ground from up here. From on high, and somehow that kind of looks like a desert. I don't think it's a desert, though. Once you come across a gate on a thing, it says to head through a gate. I don't know what gate they're talking about. I don't think it's this, though. I think I'm supposed to go to the ion plate. There we go. Okie dokie. Oh, wow. Hmm. Which way do we go from here? Oh, maybe this door? Ah. Yeah. This is a room that we have not been in before. This is where we want to go. Yeah, we're not spending a little time in the city. We're wandering around here. That's what we're doing. It doesn't restrict movement. Just like Yoko's costume. It's like Yoko's. He's going to be like Yoko. And then you're going to see your tits and you're going to want to pierce the heavens. Wait, wait, wait. It... Oh, it helps you lose your shame? <laughs> In case it falls off. Um... <laughs> A little bit, I think. But hey, it's a level 7 costume. So there's another motivation for using some of the costumes. Okay. Hold on a second. Apparently there was supposed to be a scene there. I'm stuck here. I think I forgot to do something. I, I, I really, really think I forgot to do something. Hold on a minute. Luckily, we're right. The musical corridor is just right at the start of the ion plate. Um, I kind of think I need to go back to Nemo. 
I might have missed something. Just a little bit. Maybe I need to go right wait in the inn. I don't know. I, I kind of forgot. It's been a couple of days. Oh, I didn't see this scene. Full Metal Radoff has arrived! See, they're pissed about Casey Anthony getting acquitted. They're going to Firefly Hour to get their guns. Wait, he was talking about the goddess's return. Is he talking about Kagura? That goddess? No? Alright. Okie dokie. Let's get out of here. I think we do something at the end, perhaps. Uh, maybe. Let's talk with Claire. No, that's not it. It does say... Oh, she knows see. Let me look at the current objective. Spend a little time in the city. <laughs> what else can we possibly do? Songstone Park? Do I have to go here? Nope. But this is where a certain scene occurs. That's coming up later. Not this video, but later. In a later video. There we go. That's what it doesn't tell you. Oh, right. It does tell me to go to the church. I was not paying attention at all. Yes, there is. You can call Storm. Or maybe you can get Stormy to help you. I know, Stormy, you're probably groaning at that pun. That's such an awful pun, but yeah. Religion! See, first our problem was Norton, now our problem is religion. What the hell? You false with your weird. Side test. Oh, that's a tassel. That's what that is. I thought that was like some weird horn coming up out of the side of his beard. That's just a tassel from the top of his head. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. He does look like an intimidating man, though. They're against separation of church and state. He's going to work for the full metal Knight of Alemia.
That was me clapping my hands. Damn it, right off. I hope I don't have to kill him later. I mean, fight him. I mean, what? It's okay. I, I made sure I used a respectful tone. This is my respectful tone. This is my George Bush tone. When I talk about strategy. <laughs> I think that's the musical corridor door 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 that they were talking about. Corridor, door, door. That's an odd word thing. Corridor, door, 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 door. Corridor, door. It's a silly word, like. Uh. Ah, hell, I don't know. All right, gates of silver plate. Blah. We are going to go up to the. Oh, we're stuck at the silver plate. The hell? Do I have to go through all that again? All right. You know what? I'll probably just uh, progress through here and just cut to wherever there's a cutscene. Okay, there is a cutscene up here. This is when you're exiting that the tunnel after the L sector. I'm no human, I'm a knight of Alemia. Oh, okay. Why are you damn humans climbing the tower? Alright, again, I'm going to progress till there's a cutscene. Alright, another cutscene over here. I don't think that's working, Liner. Holy crap, it worked! Oh. Uh, hey. What's up, guys? Nothing. What are you doing? N nothing. Still, still, my, still in the Dragon Balls? Yeah, th thwarting my plans? No. I'm gonna fucking kill you! No, not at all. Please, for the love of God, let us take Ayatane. That's right. Music controls the weather. In this case, uh, weather is a metaphor for a savage beast. Or savage beast is a metaphor for weather.
Please let him come with us. Please, for the love of God, let Ayatane come with us. Come on. Yes! Finally! For the love of God, we finally got frickin' Ayatane. I have been waiting for this. Alright. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ayatane. He looks very effeminate. He uses twin swords. Pretty, uh... Nice things here. Let's go ahead and give him double attack. I I'm sorry, I, I was a little bit overexcited about getting Ayatane, but... Come on, he's Ayatane! His uh, samurai armor looks distinctively like... Uh, the Epion armor. He can apparently equip the decorated Hakama. That's rather interesting. Let's give him the Paradox Eye. With... Uh, let's give him, let's give him Running Wind. And here we'll give him, actually no, you know what, we'll, get, we'll give him Windy Follower and uh, Running Fire. And for these, we'll give him, you know what, fine, Running Wind. And no, wait, no, I can put it on a level three thing here. Healing Jade. I really hope I get to keep Ayatane for a while. All right, he's 19 years old. Likes virtual world cooking. Dislikes crowds and fights. Dream? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Knight of Alemia. He works. Suppress viruses. So ah ha ha ha! We got Sayatane! I actually don't know uh, any of his special attacks and also that'll be interesting to see those. That being said, I'm probably going to show off the next fight or two. Including this one. I will do this. <laughs> oh yeah, you remember Ayatane back from last October? We finally get to use him. I am so freaking excited. I can't even... I can't even... Like, you, you guys have no idea. Whoops. I accidentally killed him. Alright, let's see what Ayatane has, then. Dual Slash. Godspeed. Whoa. Running Blade. Void's enemy attached to the bo Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Cool. We got attacked by Kaneskai. That's what I like to call that. Because, you know, it kind of sounds like Sky going, That's what it reminds me of, anyway. Alright, so I just hope that I get to keep Ayatani for a little while. Because that would be awesome. So, for anybody that's watching the video that happens to know how long I keep Ayatani for, does he go away after this little mission? Or do I get to keep him for a little while? Alright, I have a little bit of explaining to do. You may be wondering why I just happened to jump over to here. Well, first off, I already showed how to get here, so you know how to get here. And second, shortly after where I cut off, like right before this, my recording actually kind of messed up. In my original commentary, I, talked a bit, uh, I mentioned how I saw like a black screen for a second. This has happened to me before. Uh, back when I did Beautiful Joe 2, or when I was trying to record it. The reason why I couldn't do it was because I would get this during the opening credits, and as soon as I get that once, it completely ruins the recording from that point on in Sony Vegas. 
and when I try to like view that part in Sony Vegas, it'll it Sony Vegas crashes. So whenever I get that, if I even get it once, like I said, everything from the recording after the is ruined. Luckily, all that happened was there was a scene here in the musical corridor, which is exactly what I'm going to be showing right now. Now, interesting little fun fact, um, without doing all the side quests and stuff, I jumped through all the text and made it back up here in six minutes. So if you're really, 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 really speed running through this, you can do all that that I did in just six minutes by running all the way through and such and such. Then again, I went through it looking for items and I went through it again, you know, with commentary and all that. Or, well, jumping through it. It doesn't matter. Alright, so Orica stands in the middle of this thing, and she can control the weather. She's just like China! Because back at the Beijing Olympics, they apparently shot stuff into the atmosphere to make, uh, to make it rain. This is just like in the anime Vandred when that guy controls the ship. Yeah, so I just hope that Ayatani stays with us. Yes, we should all enjoy our lives before I take them from you. I mean, what? Damn it, woman, you're taking too long. Where's my damn sandwich? I, I mean, you're taking a bit too long. Exactly. Nope. It's because the hexagonal plates are all out of freaking balance. They're all woo, 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 woo. Alright, so there is a teleporter in the room on the opposite side, which is, we went north, that's the path that leads south. So we'll do that on the next installment. Now, I already saved, so I don't need to save again. So, like I said, we're doing that on the next installment of Let's Play Artinoco Melody of Alemia. So, this has been GT. Thank you for your time, and good day to you.